Hello everybody, this is a video on chapter 5, number 38. Um, in the homework, I'm doing uh, average cost or weighted average. Um, so we're dealing with a company, late company. They reported the following January purchases and sales data. Um, if you're following along, you can uh, see their sales data. And the question is, it wants the cost of goods available for sale, the cost of goods uh, sold, and the ending inventory for the company. So first of all, we'll do the cost of goods available for sale. Um, when dealing with the, um, the periodic system, it is very easy. Available it's very easy to uh, calculate these numbers so the first number uh, being how many was available for sale so we can see on January 1st um, the company had 140 uh, items in inventory at uh, $6 a unit and that came out to be um, $840 840 on uh, they made a purchase on January 20th of 60 units at five dollars each so that came out to be three hundred dollars and on January 30th they made a final purchase of 180 units at four dollars and fifty each and so that came out to be eight hundred and ten dollars so if you add these numbers together you'll get a uh, one thousand nine hundred fifty dollars of inventory uh, available at and how many units were available was three hundred eighty now what we're going to do to find the uh, weighted average in this periodic system, we're going to, to get the average, we're going to take the 1,950, we're going to divide that by the 380, and we'll get um, $5 and 13.2 so let's go to cost of goods uh, so if you see in the uh, question we had two sales we had a sale on January 10th of 100 units now we're using the five dollars and, and uh, 13 point two cents so I'm not going to put it up there right now. I'm going to skip to the January 25th sale of 80 units. So I'm going to add those up and that will be 180 units. Now I'm going to multiply it by the $5.13.2 and that's going to equal $924. And that, my friends, are the cost of goods sold. Now, as I've said before, if you a quick way to do ending inventory is to just take the um, cost of goods available, which would be one thousand nine hundred fifty dollars, and minus it by the cost of goods sold, nine hundred twenty-four dollars, and you'll get the ending inventory, which is one thousand twenty six dollars right. well I hope this helps and have a great day